morning, boys and girls. Right now, I'm trying to be as happy as possible, despite the fact that I'm not very happy because I recently uh, received a false DMCA claim. Okay, let me show you what this false DMCA claim is, first of all. All right, as you can see in front of you, uh, this video that I made recently called Epic Ponage of a Dog Dropping Troll has been removed due to copyright infringement, all right? And when we click on the thumbnail of this video, let's see. We find out that this video was apparently removed due to a copyright claim by Moonport Productions. All right, in case you guys don't know, Moonport Productions is actually owned by the user known as JS Will 1963 And naturally, I was suspecting that JS Will 1963 was the one who filed this false DMCA claim, so I sent him a PM last night, right after I discovered this false DMCA claim that's made under Moonport Productions, which was owned by JS Will 1963. And then JS Will 963 this morning he responded back to me via PM saying that hey I didn't actually file this DMCA claim. I have no reason to file this DMCA claim. It must be somebody else who filed this DMCA claim under the name Moonport Productions. Alright? So the only person who could have filed this DMCA claim under the name or license brand of Moonport Productions would be the person who I pwned in the video that got falsely DMCA'd. And that is none other than the user known as the biggest boss 2011. <laughs> you false DMCA coward. You can hardly call yourself the biggest boss 2011, alright? Enough of your egotistical, narcissistic bullcrap of calling yourself the biggest boss. No, you're like the smallest boss 2011. Or the most pathetic boss 2011 all right i kind of regret that i did something extremely stupid in that video mainly because okay let's see in that video's descriptions area i wrote uh, the following sentence i wrote something along the lines of this video contains video clips from the biggest boss 2011's video all right but it's protected under fair use, so he cannot DMCA this video. All right. So basically, what I'm saying is that I took some video clips of uh, the biggest boss 2011's video. All right. I inserted it into my video for commentary and fair use because I was refuting each and every individual point that was made in the biggest boss 2011's 20 second long video clip, alright? Like, I show one screenshot of his uh, text and music video, right? And it makes this claim, and then I read what that screenshot from his video says, that, okay, and then I make commentary on that said screenshot from his video, aka refuting it. That is protected under fair use and commentary, alright? And this guy DMCA'd me because of that, which would obviously be considered a false DMCA on his behalf, aka the biggest boss 2011's behalf, he filed a false DMCA upon me. And guess what are the consequences of filing a false DMCA? Yep, your account will get into deep dire trouble, but more importantly, to my benefit, I can file a counter DMCA. Okay, the only downside to me filing a counterclaim against this false DMCA is that the individual who filed this false DMCA would be able to obtain my real docs, aka information on where I live, uh, my postal code, the schools that I went to. Yeah, I don't want that information in the hands of somebody like the biggest boss 2011 or whoever filed that false DMCA because from the video that I refuted called reply to Super Smash 43 that individual was clearly threatening to dog drop me and he already had my real name and the city that I lived in 
perhaps he actually didn't have my full docs at the time and he was just threatening that he actually had my real docs and he was trying to drop my real docs. Perhaps he filed this false DMCA in an attempt to obtain my real docs by having me make a counter DMCA against this false DMCA. But I'm still going to counter his false bogus DMCA because I do not like being censored by a cowardly fascist and nobody does, right? All right. I'm not going to give him any second chances because he sure as hell knows that he's abusing the DMCA system to censor my criticism against him. All right. This is the Venom Fang X and FM3 false DMCA bullcrap replaying itself again, except in the year 2011. I thought this crap was way back in the past of YouTube, that it will no longer exist anymore, that people will stop resorting to these cowardly false DMCA censorship tactics. But no, much to my disappointment, this kind of false DMCA censorship tactics still exists. All right. Anyways, I hope uh, the real Moonport Productions run by JSVL 1963 is able to resolve this false DMCA issue, aka actually repeals this false DMCA that was filed falsely on his company's behalf from my video, right? Or more importantly, I'm going to file a counterclaim against this false DMCA, alright? Anyways, yeah, the biggest boss 2011, I'm not impressed by you at all. all right, I'm, I'm repeating this from my previous video. You don't show me who your identity is. Uh, according to a comment left on my epic ponage of the dog dropping troll video, which has been removed by your false uh, DMCA, according to a comment left on that video, you may in fact be Kaboy Swags, who was an individual I pwned about a month ago back, alright? I pwned you by showing you that you are a hypocritical fascist coward who talks about believing in free speech when in fact you're so obviously against free speech whenever it is not garnered towards your own selfish, egotistical, narcissistic agenda, alright? And you prove that again, if in fact you are Kaboy Swags, alright? If the biggest boss 2011 is in fact Kaboy Swags, alright? And again, like I said, you still have failed to reveal your identity. You probably won't reveal your identity because if you did reveal your identity, you would have destroyed whatever little credibility you already had, alright? So that's why you have to use an anonymous sock account to attack me and then file this false DMCA against me, alright? And I don't want to repeat this again, but I am thoroughly unimpressed by your childish shenanigans. Ugh, face palm. Anyways, that's all I had to say, and as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, I was not very eager to make this video because I want to make videos on other more interesting subjects. Alright, but nonetheless, I still have to announce this urgent false DMCA claim. Who wants to be unfairly censored by a bunch of hypocritical fascists? I guess nobody, eh? Especially not me. Anyways, that's all I had to share to you guys. Peace out and have a nice day.